When people think of the future, they think of flying cars, new technology, and new forms of energy. But will this future really be powered by solar energy like so many people have promised? Let's take a look at the future of solar. Welcome back to Interest Things. My name is Jack O'Brien, and today we will be talking about the future of solar. Solar energy is often speculated as the future of energy, and many countries and companies have used solar as the source of energy to power the growing energy demand. Universities such as MIT have been working to develop more efficient and effective solar technology. Improving solar technology will be the key in order to achieve a solar future. The sun's energy is by far enough to power our society. However, we first need better solar technology in order to capture more solar energy than we currently are able to capture. Along with becoming more efficient at capturing solar energy, solar panels will also become more cost effective. As in 2015 alone, solar panel prices dropped by up to 5%. The thing about solar technology is that it works best when it's incorporated into our daily lives as opposed to being farmed on a massive scale. This is because the direction that solar technology has been heading recently appears to be more for a consumer as opposed to a company farming solar energy on a larger scale. We've seen this recently as Tesla Energy, formerly known as Solar City, has created new solar roofs that seamlessly can be incorporated to a home and honestly look better than normal roofs. I mean, you guys gotta see these, like all these roofs, are they're pretty nice. I mean, this is gonna be just like the normal roof soon. Not only is solar technology being used for roofs, but it is now being incorporated into windows and even cars. Solar roofs have been a concept for quite some time now, but many of the reasons that it has not caught on is because it is still expensive and ugly. Tesla's new solar roof system breaks this stigma as it looks good generates electricity effectively, and is cheaper than a normal roof. This is a huge step forward, as people who don't really care about the environment aren't gonna do something that's good for it until it's actually cheaper than the thing that's bad for the environment. And what we're seeing here is we're seeing solar roofs become cheaper than regular roofs that use asphalt and other expensive materials. Once solar roofs become cheaper overall, we'll start to see a shift as people begin to switch to solar roofing systems. The next step in order to create a home solar system would be through clear solar panels that are integrated into windows. These solar panels can not only generate electricity, but they can turn opaque or block out heat. This in turn can better insulate homes, keeping them warmer in the winter while allowing for them to be cooled in the summer. Not only would these windows be better insulators, they would also be generating electricity just for being there. Solar cars will also become more prevalent. In fact, Tesla's new Model 3 will be using solar roofing technology. This means that the first car with a solar panel roof will soon be released. While it's unlikely that this solar roof will be able to generate much power, it is still a step in the right direction and will help at least somewhat with overall power generation. A key mindset behind solar is innovation. Solar energy does not require a big power plant in order to generate electricity, nor does it require wires in order to transfer that electricity to homes. As a result, many developing nations that do not already have electricity have turned to solar energy for a solution. And when I say innovation, I mean like people do not stop when it comes to solar. Just recently, a new solar panel has been developed that is able to produce clean drinking water. Yes, that's right, drinking water. This solar panel has a sponge that is able to absorb moisture in the air and then convert that into drinkable water using the electricity generated from the solar panel. While this solar panel can only generate five liters per day, which is nowhere near enough to support a human, trust me, I know what I'm talking about when it's water, it will still help developing nations with water security. What Tesla has done so far is most significant for residential solar usage. 
they have created a solar system that is able to generate electricity and then use that electricity for homes as well as electric vehicles. Tesla is best known for their electric cars, which are green, but when you're getting that electricity from coal, it's not that green. It's still better than using gasoline, like don't, don't ditch your Teslas, but it's just not the best. And that is why Elon Musk has merged Solar City with Tesla and created this new solar system. In a sense, this is solving that issue of getting your electricity for your electric car from coal. The new solar system instead provides a solar roofing system as well as a battery to store the energy, which is then used for your home or charging your electric car. And Tesla takes this even further with the Model 3's solar roof built into the car. Solar technology for residential use and industrial use is a very different thing. And in order for solar to be able to provide enough energy to meet our industrial needs, we will need massive solar farms, both here and in outer space. Solar farms in outer space would be able to generate much more electricity than here on Earth, and the solar energy generated in space would be able to be transferred to Earth via microwaves. Creating an outer space solar farm is not something that we have decided to do yet, but since Elon Musk's other company is SpaceX, I'd assume it's not out of the realm of possibilities. Solar technology is still improving, and other technologies such as battery technology will need to improve as well in order for solar technology to really be feasible. But in the long run and overall, solar energy does look to be the best solution for the future. What do you guys think? Do you think that solar energy is really going to be used to meet our energy needs in the future? And if not, what do you think will? Don't forget to like and comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, go hit the subscribe button. What are you doing? And don't forget to bell me. And I'll see you guys next time.